you know, I feel like every time you guys see the layout, it's a little bit, if not well, completely different. I think last time was the airport, before that was the mountain and orchard, but none of these felt real, am I right? Like, sure, they can have ramp tracks and small plastic trees, but a real layout needs dimension, it needs scenery. And then this happened. So, yeah, after a trip to the hobby store and watching Put Upon Percy and a couple other mine-esque episodes, again, this happened. Welcome to Sodor Coal Mine, or really just a mine on Sodor. I mean, it is inspired from Put Upon Percy, and that was the coal mine, and will hopefully look more like that with time. You know, this is getting confusing, let's just talk about it. So, as you can see here, we have a bunch of foam, plaster, plaster cloth, and a very shitty little foam cutter, which, um made this process take a while, but it's okay. Ultimately, it did help with finer details, as we can see here. The foam itself was placed into a elevated middle section, as well as this mine or almost mountain-like area, which as you can see here, the double track runs straight through. So the current idea is this double track or lower track is standard gauge, and the higher one will be narrow gauge, as you saw from Proteus. But that aside, once the foam was cut, I decided on smoothing things out just a little bit more, and made some smaller hills and breaks, as you can see here with paper and tape. These later will be covered up with plaster. I also was sure to add this very large cut you see in the back of the mountain. One, to detail the interior later, and two, just in case an engine ever derails in there. It's quick, it's accessible, and hopefully saves me just a little bit of headache. Next, well, that plaster I mentioned. This is what we're looking at now that it's done. So sadly I lost the footage of me painting this thing, but after giving it some time to dry, the entire board was primed in a black, and then sprayed with a few different grays to get a nice stone effect. Past that I also added a layer of brown, this to help me with turf and grass in the future. And now we move on to that, turf and grass. This was a little simpler than you may expect, just take some scenic cement, pour it out, spread it with a brush, and sprinkle on the grass. At this point, we're using a very yellow or dead grass look, and this will serve as the bottom layer. As you'll soon see, we move up to a more saturated green following this.
right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the layout as of now. As you can see, we still have quite a bit more to go. I mean, we still have trees, people, actual mine buildings, and ballast to add, but um, we've got some landscape. So basically, this back area here will be the actual mine buildings and kind of serves as a yard. As you can see, diesel's there in the shed. We've got some coaches, and some trucks are just kind of chilling there, water tower, kind of simple stuff. Now, you come over to this side, and not only do you have the signal, but it will lead you straight into the mine itself. We've got some detail on the top of it and right back out at the area where the mine buildings will be. And we also have the interior, which doesn't have a whole lot yet, but will hopefully have more soon. Now, technically, the coal mine doesn't have a narrow gauge portion on the top that we know of, but it kind of felt wrong not to do something there. I mean, I got the turnaround pieces. We've got Proteus and other narrow gauge characters recently. They deserve a home. There you go. And we've also got these smaller hills here on these sides. Hopefully here will be a uh, canvas barrier or the area where Percy gets saved. There's a lot to do still, but this at least brings it together and starts the landscape. So with all that being said, let's shut up and run some trains. <laughs> Thank you. 
Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.